Hey there, Michael Church, CrawlspaceNinja.com, and we got a great question from Ben in South Carolina, and he has purchased some of our DIY products and uh, is looking to encapsulate his own crawl space, but it seems like the dehumidifier is having trouble keeping up with controlling moisture, and he was just wanting to make sure he did it correctly, so stay tuned. Okay, Ben, I see that you wrote and asked us, does the vent fan make the dehumidifier run more often? Because it, I guess it sounds like your dehumidifier is having trouble either keeping up or it's running all the time or something like that. And just keep this in mind. Whenever you put a dehumidifier in the crawl space, whether you completely seal up all the vents or whether you do like we do with the hybrid crawl space encapsulation system, when you start to drop that humidity, the excess moisture that's in the wood is going to start to come out. This time of year, it's August, all right? So we've got wood moisture levels that are 50 plus percent where they should be between nine and 12. So it is going to take a long time for that moisture to just eventually evaporate out of that wood. So it could take three, four months to really to reach equilibrium. But at the same time, the more gaps that you have in the foundation, like you'd mentioned in the question that you hadn't sealed up the uh, rim joist, all right? So there's probably gaps and airflow through the rim joist. If your door has gaps, it's got air coming in. So again, even without the vent fan, you are still going to be fighting outdoor humidity, okay? And the way I like to hose it is like when you're watching the news and the, the uh, weather person has a low and a high, I think the high follows the low, right? Well, that's the way it is in your crawl space. When you drop that humidity down to 55%, and in South Carolina, you've got 85, 90% outside, even though you've got everything sealed up real nice, that 85 to 90% is trying to get in and it will find a way in, which is why dehumidifiers are always needed. Even if you spray foam to crawl space from top to bottom, you're always gonna have a humidity issue. So hopefully that'll help. Number one, give it three to four months, let it dry out and see how, uh, maybe not that long, maybe three to four weeks and, and see if it helps. But sometimes depending on how wet it was before you even got started and how big the crawl space is and all that kind of thing will also have an effect on how long it takes to dry out as well. So thanks again for your question and uh, hope in South Carolina to have a crawl space franchise out there one day. So if you're in South Carolina and you're interested in helping us uh, help others, we hope you'll contact us down below. And my name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja and we hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later.